Hi, I'm Eric, and if you've seen some of the other content on my channel, you've known that for a while now, I've been working on trying to build a radio-controlled model of an F-35B, the short takeoff and vertical landing version of the F-35. This project's been going on and off for a few years, and I've been working on it a lot more lately, so I wanted to, to give a summary of what's changed since those first few videos, and uh, also start providing some regular project updates as it gets further along. This project started a few years ago, and you can see some of my earlier attempts at building a 3D printed version of the three bearing swivel module, uh, the rotating duct assembly behind the main fan of the F-35. Uh, I put this together, I, I wrote some code to drive motors with encoders to, to move the duct segments, and um, shot some pretty bad video of it working in my living room, and eventually I installed it on a test airframe that was pretty much just a simple frame, two ducted fans, uh, some servos, and a bunch of printed plastic tubes. And this worked pretty well, it flew. Here's a clip of that test frame hovering around indoors. Um, it's being flown by a KK2 board with open aero software in this case. And it's, it's stable in all three axes. The pitch is controlled by differential thrust between the two ducted fans. Yaw is controlled by vectoring the thrust of the rear fan. And finally, roll is controlled by a couple of valves driven by servos, and these divert a little bit of air from behind the main fan through tubes out to the wings, or where the wings would be. And this had some shortcomings. Later, I put it on a... Um, actual airframe with foam wings and tails that looked like an F-35 and when this was flying outdoors uh, the roll especially had trouble generating enough authority to keep it stable and then overall there was also not quite enough thrust to be lifting that much airplane around and that combined with a couple of other reasons really led to the project sitting on the shelf for uh, really up until now. Uh, but a lot has changed since then. I'm getting back into the project, and I wanted to share a couple of new approaches. Um, the first new approach is that instead of using KK2, I've switched to ArduPilot, uh, running on some Matec hardware for now. It, it might change to some other ArduPilot-supported hardware later, but uh, the key differences there are that ArduPilot is uh, incredibly flexible, open-source, software for controlling aircraft, but it's also very mature, it, it's safe to operate, and it supports a lot of different types of vehicles, including VTOL. So I'll have to do a little bit of work to, to work with this specific type of, of aircraft, but uh, in general I, I expect it to be very stable in, in hover, stable in forward flight, and then also able to assist with the transition in between. Uh, and, and going along that route, should result in a lot less uncertainty during the development process. The next big change is that I now intend for this, instead of being a foam airframe or something composite, to be a fully 3D printable airframe. That way, once I finish it, not only will I have a fully functioning F-35 model, but other people will be able to download and, and print and assemble and fly it as well, which I think is really important for something as cool as the F-35. Uh, it's one thing to see it in a video on the internet, but it's another thing to be able to build it. And I've been taking some steps to make sure that I have the design methods down in order to build a 3D printed airplane that performs well, that's durable, that is lightweight. Um, I set up a company, Lofted Arrow, to experiment with building these designs and marketing them and, and seeing how uh, users are able to download and print them. And that's been going pretty well, and, and that'll evolve slowly towards um, having a, a, an F-35 model available as I make progress on this project. The last major change to this new approach in the project is how the three-bearing swivel module is designed. I've got here, this is the second version of the three bearing swivel module. Um, I've actually got a newer one, a third version that you'll see in some upcoming videos. 
Um, but in general, the biggest difference between this and those early attempts are it's a lot shorter because instead of ducting exhaust from the main fan off for roll control, I have kept that clean and I'm using dedicated small motors and propellers out in the wings to control the roll. This frees up a bit more thrust for the main fan but also provides a lot more roll authority and that'll help with flying outdoors when I've got a real airframe that makes lift and drag and, and all sorts of forces that we need to be able to compensate for. And also you'll see that there's a new lattice grid on this and that's because I've gone down to one single layer of wall thickness for the duct to keep the weight down. Uh, that's a technique that I've learned from experimenting with 3D printed airframes and that lattice just adds a little bit of rigidity back uh, after going down to that single wall. And similarly the airframe itself will be uh, one wall thickness pretty much everywhere except for where uh, structure is needed to support internals, electronics, uh, wing mounting, that sort of thing. Uh, so over the next few days you'll see me post some more progress videos. Uh, I've got a time-lapse uh, CAD assembly and, and then later physical assembly of the printed parts uh, for the new version 3 duct design. Um, and then I'm going to bring back the test frame, and, and you'll see some videos of that. Um, I'll go through all the new hardware and, and the software to an extent that's, that's loaded on there and get some flight footage going. And after that, I'll feed you guys as many regular updates as I can, and, and I can do deep dives into things like CAD design, um, the software engineering, especially in the, the duct controller that I didn't really talk about. Um, and whatever really you're looking to see um, as, as this project progresses. And on that note, stay tuned.